laws of the history it's based on, in the name of a very dubious understanding of equality. You will also find that the rank and file of such groups is overwhelmingly white. The color of skin apparently bridging differences between a lawyer and a struggling farmer, a corporation and an unemployed factory worker. Is this not another example of a missed opportunity for a coalition of common people against injustice and power? Like those southern plantation owners who convinced poor whites to hold the line against abolition, even though ending slavery would have created jobs for those people. And unscrupulous union busters who at the beginning of the 20th century were convinced uh, that people of color didn't belong in their unions, even though the very concept of unions depends upon including as many workers as possible as a means of mustering power. Anti-sovereignty advocates who make veiled appeals to white supremacy ultimately depress the chances for meaningful coalitions between working class whites and native people. And that is a tragedy, because when it comes to our children, the lands we share, and the war that we must now wage against unchecked corporate power and greed, if we wish to survive as a species, we need all the coalitions we can 